TEDx Detroit. How's everybody doing? Good. I'm Ted Belowski, and I'm from Hatch, Detroit. I'm just going to grab my clicker real quick. Everyone seems to be having issues with the clicker today. There we go. So how many people here have heard of Hatch, Detroit? Show of hands. OK, a few. Smattering of applause. OK. Um, so really what Hatch Detroit is, is we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We're geared towards helping entrepreneurs in the city of Detroit. And we're trying to do that through funding opportunities, through training and education opportunities, and through mentorship, and connecting um, you know, potential entrepreneurs with business leaders and doers that are actually living it and breathing it and doing it every day here in the city of Detroit. Come on. There we go. So people ask us, why Detroit? You know, why are you guys trying to do this here in the city? What's the draw? And you know, it's really my belief that there is no better place on planet Earth right now to be an entrepreneur, to be someone who's creative, to be someone that has an idea and wants to try to accomplish something than here in Detroit. Why is that? Why is that? Number one, I think the most important thing is the people. You know, the creativity um, that exists here in Detroit is unbelievable. Um, we're, the, the first initiative that Hatch Detroit is undertaking is a retail business contest. And we're trying to identify the best new retail business idea here in the city. And we're going to actually tomorrow night announce our top 10 semifinalists for this competition. We received over 250 submissions over the last two months of people that wanted to open a retail business here in the city. And tomorrow night we announce the top 10 and then on Friday, um, online public voting actually starts and the public, you, everyone sitting here has an opportunity to vote in the contest online and pick the ultimate winner of this contest. That winner is gonna get $50,000 in cash plus uh, about $30,000 at this point in donated professional services. So things like accounting help, legal help. You know, we wanna put, this, put the idea and put the entrepreneur in a position to get off the ground quickly and be successful. So the people is the number one reason why I think Detroit is such a great place right now. You know, the energy level, the drive of, of, of people here is, is outstanding. Um, so people also ask, you know, why retail business? Oh, you're going to hook me up. Look at this. Thank you. Let's try this one. Which, okay. There we go. So why retail business? Well, we decided that, you know, when looking at the landscape, there's obviously a lot of people here that are doing great things in the city to create jobs and bring big business downtown. But an area that's, I feel, a little underserved is the retail market. And our belief at Hash Detroit is really that, you know, in order to build vibrant and successful neighborhoods, which, you know, all these big businesses that are coming down are gonna have employees that wanna live near work, wanna live in the city, and retail really drives the, uh, you know, the, the neighborhoods. So that's why we chose to focus on that. So what I wanna really do today is tell you about four key things that we've kind of come up with on how do you transform Detroit, but this really applies to anything, not just, you know, transforming Detroit, but, um, you know, if you, if you have an idea, how do, you, how do you make it work? So the four keys are encouraging, engaging, supporting, and taking action. So <clears throat> how are we encouraging people to participate in this contest? Well, we made our retail business contest open to anyone, anywhere in the world. Um, the only restrictions were it had to be a retail business idea which we classified as a brick and mortar type store where someone can come in and pay money for goods or services. So think, you know, restaurants, coffee shops, um, clothing stores, things like that. Um, <clears throat> and what we've been doing to really spread that message is using all the social media tools that are out there. We've been using traditional marketing, radio, TV, things like that. But I think the thing that we did that really has had an impact is we got on the ground level um, at a grassroots level and met with organizations all around the city who are either professional networking type groups, community development type groups. You know, one of the, the most inspiring um, talks that I gave recently was at the Brightmore Alliance meeting a couple months ago. And you know, the neighborhood of Brightmore obviously has some struggles, but I was blown away by the energy of the people that came to the meeting and sat in that room and listened to myself and um, people like Kiva Detroit and some of the other groups that are out there trying to help entrepreneurs. People were engaged, they were excited. Um, 
And that's, that's something I think that's key to really spreading your message is getting on the ground and talking with folks who are living it every day. So the next one is engage, engage in the community, right? <clears throat> what we've done again through social media and through uh, speaking engagements is trying to connect with people, but we also wanna provide an opportunity for everyone to feel invested in what we're doing. So we really call it crowd entrepreneurship. And what it is is essentially through either donating, you know, money, time, services to uh, our initiatives, you know, we're allowing people to feel like, okay, we're giving money to this organization, they're gonna help um, retail businesses get off the ground, they feel invested, you get, you get the opportunity to vote and ultimately pick the winner. And you know, we're working on some, some new social initiatives, engagements that we're gonna be rolling out over the next couple of months that we're also really excited to share with you guys um, down the road. So engaging is, is huge. So we've, we've encouraged people to participate, we've gotten people engaged and excited about what we're doing. We need to provide a support structure to really you know, help this thing um, to fruition. So, like I said, we're trying to, number one, connect business leaders and people who are doing it in the city with these entrepreneurs and the people that have entered the contest and who are ultimately gonna win this contest to help them get their business off the ground and get growing. Um, we're also gonna support these businesses through mentors, and we actually call them shepherds. Um, so the, the people that end up making our final four in our retail business competition are going to each get a, a shepherd who's gonna hopefully help them through and guide them through the rest of the process uh, with our contest, and then beyond that, um, through their first few years of hopefully getting the business off to a successful start. So the last, um, the last key or the last principle is the most important. You know, people ask me, I, I consider myself a bit of a serial entrepreneur. I've had several businesses over the last 10 years. Um, a couple have been very successful and I've had a couple that have failed spectacularly. Um, and you know, it's funny because I, I think I've learned a lot more from the failures than I have from the ones that have been successful. But people ask, you know, what's, what's the key? What does it take to be a successful entrepreneur? What does it take to really, you know, create change and affect change and, and do things? And the answer is simple. It's one that we all know, it's been seared into our brains over the, probably the last 25, 30 years. I think you all recognize it. Nike said it best, right? Just do it. It's simple. People look at me sometimes and say, are you serious? And I am serious. Like, you know, there's, we talked about a lot of things here, you know, that can go into helping you be successful and to create something, but ultimately you have to just do it and put yourself out there. Quick story, you know, last year I came to TEDx Detroit. I was sitting out there just like you guys are. And now today I'm standing up here talking to you and you know, anything's possible. You just have to put your mind to it and you just have to go out and not be afraid to fail. Like I said, I've had businesses that have failed spectacularly and I've had a couple that have been pretty successful, but you just can't be afraid of that. So that's all I got. Again, I'm Ted Belowski. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Great crowd. Have a good day.